Oh, again, I'm Kelly, as you guys can see, uh, haven't changed, but a uh, little background to this story. Uh, this is in the summer of 1992, I was three and a half years old, and uh, my, my grandfather had just passed away, and it was, it was I mean, uh, for a little kid, that's kind of a big deal when uh, one of your grandparents pass away like that, you know, you're, you're really emotional. And because my grandfather lived in the same town as I lived in, my family had, you know, the, we had the wake and all that stuff was at a, uh, a funeral home in my, in my town. And, uh, you know, so we were kind of accompanying my entire uh, father's side of the family because they had people coming in from Ireland from all over the place to, uh, to pay their respects to my grandfather. So after the whole funeral was over with, it was the weekend, and it, it kind of what started out as like a, you know, everybody mourning uh, my grandfather's death turned into like a really, really like weekend long party at my old house that I used to live in, in, uh, in Wall Township, New Jersey. And so that's back. Back, background of the story. Um, so, uh, I mean, I, I can barely remember this, but from what I remember, is it's, it's, pretty, it's, it's a pretty good story. And so, uh, it was Saturday of the weekend after my grandfather had passed away, and my older sister and I, she's three years older than me, we're pretty, we were both upset, and my mother had her two brothers in town for the funeral as well. And her younger brother, my uncle John, came up with the idea to take my older sister and I to the boardwalk and Point Pleasant Beach. And because Point Pleasant, I mean, it's kind of like uh, down in the seaside. There's like all the rides, you know, all the all the games, all the arcades, everything you could ask for if you're a little kid. So I'm a I'm a little kid. I'm with my older sister Lauren. Uh, we're walking around the boardwalk. You know, my uncle went and bought us like the biggest thing of tickets, passes you can get to get on all the rides and do whatever arcade games you want to do. And so my sister and I are walking around, we're going on all the rides, having a lot of fun, and I just start to get this feeling, and I'm just like, we're literally in line for a roller coaster, which was probably like a half an hour wait. And I turn to my sister, Lauren, and I say, Lauren, I really got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and she turns back at me and she said, Kelly, we've been waiting in this line. I'm not getting off. You know, you're going to sit. You know, the, the roller coaster is only two minutes long. Once we get on it, you'll be fine. And then you can go to the bathroom afterwards. And because she was my other sister, I was like three and a half years old. I pretty much did whatever she told me to do. And so, you know, I'm... Picture an uncomfortable three and a half year old who's waiting in line to go on in, uh, in a roller coaster, uh, just so disheartened. I didn't even, I wasn't even excited to go on the, the roller coaster. I was so upset. And so finally comes, we wait in line, we get on, get on the roller coaster, everything goes well. I still need to go to the bathroom really bad. So my sister's like, all right, Kelly, let's find the bathroom, blah, 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 blah. We walk to the bathrooms where they are, and there's a line longer than the line for the roller coaster for the bathroom. And so by that time, <coughs> basically in tears, this, this little kid who has to go to the bathroom and has no bathroom to go in. And so my sister and I are walking around trying to find another bathroom to go in. And it happened. Uh, um, this little three and a half year old kid went to the bathroom in his pants at the boardwalk <laughs> while wearing shorts. And it was not a very good sight to see. I immediately started crying my eyes out and ran behind like a concession stand. And my sister had no idea where I was. And I'm sitting back there just crying my eyes out like I'm so embarrassed. And I like I wait, I'm like waving my older sister over to Lauren. She comes over, sees what's happened, and she's just like, oh my God. And she's like, we need to find a bathroom for you, Kelly. 
I'm like, yeah. And <laughs> so <laughs> we, uh, we, just, we just kept, um, I would, the mo picture the most uncomfortable you could be in your life. You know, I'm, I'm walking down a boardwalk, jam-packed with people with uh, waste running down my leg. <laughs> and I, I finally, we finally find a place uh, to go and there's this little bathroom and my sister Lauren's like, just get in, like, I'll, just, I'll be outside. I'll see you when you get out. I get in the bathroom and I'm in there and of course there's no toilet paper. I have no, I have nothing, I'm sitting in the bathroom, no toilet paper, just like, I, I don't even think I could like put it all together, I was so young, but I was so upset, I sat in the bathroom for two and a half hours alone, and just didn't do anything, and uh, I guess while I was in the bathroom, my sister Warren had gone and found my Uncle John, who had found out that I was in this bathroom with no toilet paper, with poop all over myself. <laughs> so I guess my Uncle John ran to his car, grabbed a beach towel, ran, ran back to the bathroom that I was in, walked in, wrapped me in a beach towel, threw me over his shoulder, walked to his Volkswagen station, uh, station wagon and literally put me in the trunk <laughs> and, dro and drove me home. And so I get back to my house, and there's a party going on. There's, like, you know, just all older people, uh, adults, having a good time, you know, uh, getting drunk pretty much, you know. So there's a, probably, like, 70 drunk people at my house when I get home. And I walk up to the garage door with this towel on. And my, my godfather, my Uncle Tim, I guess he was out in the garage getting something. Immediately looks at me, and you know my my dad's brothers are really ones to uh, you know break balls. I guess you know like really mess and fool around and stuff like that. And I'm sitting there in my tears, and I guess to uh, <coughs> attempt at uh, at tear me up. My uncle Tim tells me a story about when he was a little kid and pooped himself and he was really embarrassed. And I just, I was, it didn't really help me out. I was still really, really down. And, you know, I finally, I got cleaned up. I, I went to bed, woke up the next morning, and of course I, I walk out on my back deck because my mom put out like a, a breakfast, like a storm or whatever for all of our guests. And, uh, the first thing I hear when I walk outside is, oh look, it's the Mad Crapper! And, like, and it, I just, I was so broken and embarrassed that I just ran upstairs into my, uh, my room and lay there for the rest of the day. And uh, that was how my nickname came about when I was a little kid with my family, the Mad Crapper. So, thanks. Uh, any questions? Uh,